If you are willing to provide a hair sample, please sign and date the consent form. It is possible to collect a hair sample by yourself, but it is easier if you have someone to help you. Please do not use any alcohol-based products, such as antibacterial hand gel, on your hands for the 30 minutes before you collect the hair sample. Unpack the contents of the hair collection kit and lay them out. Make sure they are close at hand. You need to sit or stand in a position where you can easily reach the back of your head with both hands. The hair sample needs to be collected from the area at the back of your head, just below the crown. To find this area, use both hands to find the bony ridge at the back of your head. This is the cranial bone. You need to collect the hair from just below this area. Divide the hair at the back of your head using a hair grip if necessary. If you have long hair, you may want to tie the hair from the top of your head out of the way. Hold together several strands of hair. The overall thickness of the sample should be about 5 mm, the width of two matchsticks. Hold the hair tightly together so no strands come loose. Tie this hair with the hairband provided close to the scalp, but leaving enough space to cut the hair just above where it is tied. If your hair is less than 2 cm long, you can provide multiple samples. Cut the hair sample as close as possible to the scalp using the scissors provided. You can measure the width of the hair sample using the ruler on the blades of the scissors. To pack the hair sample, place the foil shiny side down on a table. Lay the hair sample on the foil. Stick a red arrow to the foil pointing at the top end of your hair sample to show which end comes from closest to your head. The foil needs to be large enough to fold over the length of hair. Position the hair so that it lays straight. If your hair is very long, make sure the hair is curled around. Fold the foil over the hair so that it does not move around too much. Put the folded foil containing your hair sample in the Ziploc bag provided. Put this into the pre-addressed and prepaid envelope provided and return to us by post. Don't forget to include the consent form.